COBIT is the Control Objectives for Information and Related Technology. It is a framework that's been developed by uh, the IT Governance Institute that is freely available to be used to implement IT governance. It doesn't cost any money. You can go to the website itgi.org and download COBIT and then use it in your, your organisation to execute governance. Let me define a couple of those ISO standards for you. ISO 27002 is a security standard. It's quite commonly adopted by many organisations to ensure that their organisation's security complies with the ISO standard or an industry best practice. It's uh, been leveraged by many companies globally and it has evolved from ISO 17799 which is well known by many companies and executed for security. The other ISO standard I mentioned was ISO 38500. It's a new ISO standard and that new ISO standard was developed to help people with IT governance, to set up a base framework for a series of principles or guidance so that you can understand that you're just measuring the things that you need to measure in terms of delivering governance. And because it's principle based, you can interpret it and apply it to your organisation based on your organisation. Rather than being totally prescriptive, it's very general. The prescription comes in how you apply the principles. ITIL started about uh, almost 20 years ago now, and uh, it was a development out of the UK Government, Office and Government of Commerce. Of course, 20 years ago it had another name. But the uh, UK Government developed this standard so that across all of UK Government, they could use the same processes and principles to manage IT. It's called the IT Infrastructure Library, and that's what it was designed to do, to manage basic processes like change, management, managing problems, managing service levels, managing business relationships. It's evolved over time, as all things do, to version 2, which was a set of, say, 10 or 11 books, we can't even remember how many are really in it, to version 3, which is more a service life cycle, which follows more a plan, do, check, act model and links the books together. The evolution of ITIL, the key thing that I'd like to be happy to tell you is that very soon, rather than talking ITIL versions, the plan is we just talk ITIL. The key aspect here is that all the books and all the processes that were in version 2 were mentioned in version 1 and are in version 3. We have to get away from talking versions of ITIL and start talking about ITIL. You know, what pieces you use out of it, it's a framework, it's not a standard. Use the pieces that make sense. A framework is a piece of guidance, it's a collection of industry good practices. Not really best practice, they're good practices. They're commonly adopted processes or, or actions to deliver a particular value point. A standard is exactly as it says, it is a series of compliance requirements. You comply or you fail, black or white. So if you wish to adopt a standard, you go through a rigorous process of identifying the scope, implementing versus the scope, then having an audit organisation come and audit you against that scope and then giving you an officially, globally recognised accreditation. And then on a regular basis, they come back and verify that you are still in compliance. And that's a key difference between uh, the two. Okay.